Murphy's Law. Anything that can go wrong will go wrong. So let's talk about that. Don't worry, your ears are not deceiving you, that is in fact Weird Al Yankovic. Al is not only the singer of the intro, but also the voice of main protagonist Milo Murphy in this new Disney show by the creators of Phineas and Ferb. I love Weird Al, but I've gotta admit, his speaking voice, not quite as pleasant as his singing voice. Oh, you're new here. I've got a bit of a reputation. You might want to slide over this way a little. Easy! You insert the tab into the buckle until you hear it click, like this! It's a bit hard on the ears on the first viewing, but you'll get used to it. It's not too often we get quality cartoons on Disney Channel anymore, so it's nice to see another one join the roster with Star vs. the Forces of Evil and Gravity Falls. The plot of the show revolves around a kid named Milo Murphy who's been jinxed with a very bad case of Murphy's Law. And that's pretty much it. Milo and his friends have to deal with the misadventures they fall into by hanging around him. That's pretty much what happens every episode, and I honestly didn't expect anything different from the creators of Phineas and Ferb. That formulaic plot was a very big problem I had with Phineas and Ferb. Every episode they had to build something. Candace tried to bust them. She failed. While all that happened, Perry was fighting Dr. Doofenshmirtz, and by him foiling Dr. Doofenshmirtz's plans, that's what caused Phineas and Ferb's devices to disappear and make Candace look like an idiot. And it was like this for nearly every episode. I know it started to derail later, but by then it was already too late for me. I had already lost interest. Now, there's nothing wrong with a formulaic plot like in Tom and Jerry, you know, cat chases mouse, but that's not very specific. There are so many things you can do with that. However, Phineas and Ferb's formula was a bit too detailed and they ran it dry. But luckily, Milo Murphy's Law has a much more simple formula to it. While everything does turn okay in the end, it's nice to see what shenanigans they get into during the middle. Oh, don't worry, there's no coyotes here. There aren't? No. Actually, the woods were named after actor Peter Coyote. Really? Yeah, he donated all this land to the city as a wolf preserve. You get how that's not better, right? By the style of humor in the show, you can definitely tell it's by the same creators behind Phineas and Ferb. And also like Phineas and Ferb, this series is jam-packed with musical numbers. And since they've got Weird Al in their cast, you know it's gonna be good. Yes, I'm also going to be singing that for weeks. Mm. If I had to give one negative about the show, it would be the character designs. The colors are a bit dull, and even the main cast look like they're supposed to be background characters for Phineas and Ferb. The animation's good, but nothing really stands out. But other than that, it's a very funny, smart, and creative show. If you're a fan of Phineas and Ferb, you'll most definitely love this, so be sure to give Milo Murphy's Law a watch on Disney XD. Young people from the Overland, you shall be our leaders! No, no, we have a leader, it's Dave. Sup?